Hey everyone, Soundwave84 coming at you with another Transformers review. In this review, take a look at the Netflix Megatron. Yes, another one of these. So, we're going to review this bad boy. And I'm going to do my review a little bit differently because I've reviewed this guy once before. Do is I'm going to pretty much make this a comparison video showing all three Megatrons together. So you can get a, a, a good feel for which one you think is the best Megatron. I'm, a, I'm actually going to do the transformation. But I'm going to tack that at the end of the video. And I will show off the little guys that come with them as well. Pinpointer and Lionizer. Leonizer. How do you want to say that word? And before we get to the review, I'm just going to say if you are not a subscriber, please click the subscribe button down below. Leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And leave a comment as that will help my channel grow. So I also want to say thank you to Alpha Prime 88 He is on Instagram. He uh, has done my uh, channel artwork for so you check him out i will leave his instagram username down in the description below so you can go check out his artwork there on instagram a very good artist very talented i'll say thank you to him for uh, designing my channel artwork so anyway on to uh, the comparison review all right so netflix megatron this is the packaging it is fairly nice it's very 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 much uh siege like this is i think some of the artwork is on the 35th anniversary is like this close-up of the torso uh flip it around back shows you megatron robot tank mode then it has this captive his prisoner leonizer and his prisoner is captive pinpointer so he's got them held captive crosshairs really needs this guy to come out and play and whoever and side artwork i really really do like this artwork it's done it's the original artwork that was on siege it's just done like it's done like a comic book instead of being like a painted you know look it's this way with more of a penciled inked look and it's really nice i really like this i would mind have some kind of poster of this i think this looks really good it looks a lot better to in my opinion than this so. but still that's a really cool artwork on the side of the box and then the bottom is just your bland red stuff top is yeah that so we can get to take a look at this megatron and compare him with the other megs in my life so straight out the package we got of course the instructions for megatron so get that of course you get leonizer lionizer whatever you want to call him right here and he comes with his blast effect which we can apply on the underside here, the three little posts. I mean, three pegs, three peg holes here. That was a line off three way. So you can have him on his tail. Also, when he's in his mode, we'll look at that at the end of the video because I have reviewed these guys before as well. This the same moles. This, these are different figures here. And here is Pinpointer, and this is the actual Target Master partner for Crosshairs, and. For a while, I have been putting trench foot here that came with the Amazon Autobots 2-pack uh, G2 Sideswipe and um, Slam Dance with uh, Crosshairs. But I'm switching that up now to this Pinpointers. And he comes with uh, two Blast Effects as well. And he is exactly the same mold that started out with, uh, I think his name is Fire Drive now. Uh, so it's the same figure. It's just different colored plastics and different paint uh, job for the face. On this figure here, the biggest problem is this is very loose on the back. It's just... I, that's probably the only quality so far that I've found. He, he's just kind of a little bit looser than other copies. Like Surge, the same mold as this. He's more, you no, know, got tighter joints than this guy here. But look at him. All around. And of course, you get your Megatron. This is what everybody's wanting. Megatron and he comes with his fusion cannon and he also comes with his sword or tank barrel attachment so we'll take a look at this as well cannon here it's very much like the others it does have some paint applied on top right here and to peg it in just find this peg hole on this form and push the gun right in. Now this Megatron here does have more paint apps. He's like he's been painted silver. 
I do like the silver paint that has been applied to him. And he's still got some of this dull gray plastic, but it's a darker gray where the silver paint is not fully on the figure. Like this is just dark gray. But then right here, you can see where the silver paint came across. But here it goes a little more up this little hinge. But the paint here is applied nicely. Some battle damage on his crotchetals. Down here, you can see the paint applied on the shins over the black. Turn them. And the back just gets kind of dull and boring because it's the same colors. But back here where this would form part of the tank, there is more paint applied to this as well. No paint on the side of the arm. See where the paint is right here, but not back here. And the paint doesn't go fully on the arms. It's like on the sides, and then it just goes to this dull gray plastic right here. Head sculpt on Megatron. He's got silver painted face. A little bit of silver on his actual helmet, as you can see. But it's not fully on it all the way. So that, it's kind of a bummer that the silver paint's not fully applied all over the figure. But anyway, what it does, it does give him shine in a certain place where he's got shadows and other, almost like the lights hit him. So you can see he shines in some part. But then he has different highlights. So it highlights the figure in certain areas. That's the word I'm looking for. A little bit of battle damage, I guess, right here. for see scratches. And the uh, Decepticon logo has kind of been uh, through some battle as well. All right, so we'll compare him with the original Siege Megatron. As well as the 35th Anniversary Megatron. So you can get a feel for the Megatron. So Siege came out at the end of 2018. It is a nice Megatron. I like the, the actual build of the Megatron. Some problems, areas that bug me. He's a little more loose, like in the head joints. The ankle tilts. Got some quality control problems going on there. But it's the same mold three times. Honestly, when I got the 35th anniversary Megatron, which came out in 2019, towards the end of the year, it is an improvement in the quality control. The joints are much tighter, the angle tilts work properly, and the head is tight to where it takes a lot of force to actually get it to go in. Whereas this one is just beep. Now we have the Netflix version of Megatron. Honestly, looks department, I think these two here knock this guy right off the shelf. He doesn't belong. Just by looking at him, he looks more, in my opinion, in more poor quality and then these two the, the little paint apps on here make him shine and look higher quality whereas this one here gives you a little more of the cell shaded tune look in colors side view back view so in robot mode which one of these three hits your sweet spot just let me know down in the comments below and now we'll move on to just focus on the netflix megatron all right so the joints on siege megatron that's fairly tight. This leg's a little bit more tighter. Ankles, I mean, not ankles. Knees, angle tilts. This one works and locks back into place. I have noticed this one is just constantly on a tilt, but at least it actually snaps back to where it's not floppy like the Siege Megatron. And of course, you got the upper thigh swivels on your Megatron. There is no wrist rotation. This joint here for the Elbow swivel is a little bit loose on his left arm, tighter on his right arm. Elbow bends to there, shoulders there, all the way around. Waist swivel nice and tight. Of course, you got this big backpack, it kind of gets in the way, you just got to move it or move it about. And head, you can collapse him in. Uh, he's got a ball joint, but you get as much up and down as you think you would. But this piece here comes around, so it gives you some. Now in this pack, we got, you know, blast effects for the Target Masters, Battle Masters. Too bad they didn't give us a brand new big blast effects for his cannon. I wish they would have. I think that would have been an excellent addition. Instead of using these tiny little puny ones, I just log, you know, just peg right on in. Something new, big and bold, fitting of Megatron, but something that would have been a nice accessory for him. And of course, you got his... Sword. Plug it, plug it in. And it has a little bit of paint here as well on the barrel, which ended up being part of the barrel in tank mode. But otherwise, all the swords are the same mold as well. Just 
different colors in plastic. This one, of course, goes to the 35th because it's got the more of a white gray. And this is the more of the dull gray, which matches the Siege Megatron. All right, so here's Netflix Megatron in his tank mode. Take a look. So when the paint kind of shines through here on the sides, it's some silver paint right here. Paint on the barrel here, sides here, legs, the arms. You know, it's a mix of shiny silver with some dark, like gray areas. It's not bad at all. Uh, bright yellow lights here, and this is painted uh, silver right here a lot, just so it shines through. Peekaboo! All right, it has wheels. Um, this one here is really tight on my copy. It has a screw, and I've even loosened the screw, and it still doesn't want to move very well, so it doesn't roll very well at all. So we'll compare this Megatron with the original Siege Megatron, and then also the 35th Anniversary Megatron. Now, the biggest difference between the Siege and the Netflix, you see they both have painted lights in the front. It's pretty much just the colors. This has more paint on it. And then this one, this is more just straight up plastic with painted uh, battle damage. And with some painted areas, this is painted up. So you can see some of the color differences here. Let's compare it with the 35th anniversary cell shaded version of Megatron. Let's just bring it around like this. As you can see, they both pretty much have the same barrels, the red paint, except for the 35th anniversary. It's just a straight black. And of course, you know this does take blast effects. A closer comparison with just the Netflix and the Siege version. Siege, Netflix. More head on. And now head on with the Netflix and the 35th anniversary. The 35th anniversary almost comes across as a snow tank. It's kind of a white color, so it comes more like he belongs in a winter wonderland. And the biggest difference here is this has a lot more paint apps. This is a cell shaded paint apps on this figure here. Uh, you see he's got the colored lights where his are just blended in with the plastic. And the side view. And I guess I'll show the ass of all three. Siege, Netflix, 35th. So which one of these three tickles your fancy let me know in the comments down below as well and now we'll take a look at pinpointer with crosshairs all right crosshairs pinpointer transform pinpointer very simple take the back gun barrel up bring it around over his head tap his legs together you see how this is so loose let's just flop right back down tap him in that you want to bring this up and over two taps on his feet we'll then go in these little slots here on the barrel which will hopefully help lock that into place if they actually want to stay in there we go now there's these little slots here on his hips tabs on his forearms just have them in he's good to go take crosshairs peg it in and crosshairs has his proper target master pin pointer Add the blast effects. Pew, 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 pew. Beautiful. Now we'll take a look at Lionizer. All right, here's Lionizer with his blast effect. I'll take that off. Uh, paint silver. Beautiful. Uh, the eyes are a beautiful blue. The original one, I believe, was black. I believe he had green eyes. There's two versions. There's the Decepticon version, and then there is this Autobot version. I just like to keep throwing these guys back out at us as well without really changing much up. So we'll transform this guy into his uh, Battle Master mode. Fold his head in, and that will reveal the peg. There we go. Get all the way into the snaps. Bring this out, because that's going to be his blade. We want to... You see these little peg holes or little notches right here in his back hips. These little pegs or tabs on his front paws. These are going to flip around and then they're going to go into that. And you see them all the way around and they're going to go right here into the back hips of the figure. Same on the other one. Up, around. Line it up. And... Take a figure. Why not? I got 
crosshair sitting here have them in you can have them this way with this silver blade which is silver paint as well or you could turn it around this way have this little blast effect but i believe the blast effect is supposed to be a swoosh a whoosh or a whoosh and so you want to turn him actually around so it'd be like he's swinging them and this is just the wind effect of being swung so fast he's got an energy effect he's like whoosh. so that's there and here is pinpointer from the netflix megatron package with g1 pinpointer all right nothing of course you can do with megatron in robot mode you take this when you have it like this for tank mode peg here He's pegging on his back, and it sort of gives him that G1 look when he has the other barrel coming up over his back. So that's there. So my overall final thoughts on Netflix Megatron. Where do I stand with this guy? He looks really good. I do like the paint touches. Um, I always like Siege look, but after I get the 35th, the 35th anniversary Megatron was my go-to Megatron for this line just because... He looks more cartoonish, and that's usually my angle I go. But I really like the colors on this Megatron. He's got the silver paint, really adds a nice flair to the figure. He's not as heavily covered in battle damage, mostly just on his crotch plate. Uh, and there's a little black on his chest, which I kind of don't like. That's probably my biggest negative on this figure is i don't like that this those black scratches there maybe it has something to do with the upcoming tv series he gets scratched there maybe lionizer trying to escape and scratched him so i really like this figure knowing we're getting an earthrise megatron this year my god that's the fourth one and i know it, it remolds some of the figure but i believe it still has looks like it has some siege parts still attached and they're still using some of the siege mold do we really need four tank megatrons are being shoved out so much but hey variety and choices are never a bad thing i would say but please focus on some other characters that's my only that's my only thing give some other characters love too now i do like this megatron i'm going to keep it yeah i didn't really want this one but saw it in person missed hot link just one megatron on the shelf i really wanted hot link Someone else got there before me. And I'm just happy to actually find one of these in the wild. So I do recommend this Megatron. If you don't have any of the others, get this one. I know he's $40, so he's a little pricey. But he comes with two other Battle Masters and some uh, Blast Effects. Knowing he's $30, bucks, 2 Battle Masters, and another 10 bucks, So it's priced right. Uh, no, $10 more for those two guys. So it, you're not getting ripped off. You're actually probably saving about $0.15 cents or so. It, it's a nice Megatron. If you don't have any other ones, get this one. If you have the original Siege, uh, this one is an improvement in joints and I think overall look. If you have the 35th anniversary and prefer the cartoon look, I wouldn't bother this unless you really want Target Masters. I don't know. But it's a good figure. And this is still a nice looking Megatron. Anyway, thanks for watching this long-winded comparison slash review. And stay here at the end of the video for the transformation. And I say thank you for watching. Peace out. Alright, so let's transform Netflix Megatron into his tank mode. First thing we want to do is take his uh, fusion cannon. We want to spin it up to where he's facing the ceiling. Like so. We'll take these two little back pieces on the back of his arms. Bring them up. Fold his hands in. Come down here to his legs. Go ahead and spin them around 180. Come around to this backpack. Pull this up like so his arms then untab from here bring them back and around you see there's a little another peg here there's a peg hole here so you can get his arms around you just want to peg that together like that bring these pieces out In so tightly the siege version I had no problem with the 35th and this one they're in very tight so you want to kind of get this down and around the torso here so you get that go deck behind the torso where the arms would sit there are two tabs on the side of this there are slots 
in here right there so this comes down at an angle just gotta get it past it and then you'll tab in these tabs as you angle this down let's find the tabs and just push them in so that is done come back here to the legs piece here bring that down bring your leg out knee down and it's just going to rotate up and over there's this tab on each side of his waist that will tap in right here on each of the legs so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up the knee just kind of comes up this piece here just rotates at his thigh swivel and then a little bit at the hip and bring this up you just gotta line up the tabs and tab it in same on the other side up bend them right there bring the knee up and around this comes back up to meet and just tab it in now on this part right here you're going to take his sword untab these there's tabs down here as well just make sure they come all the way around just get this bottom tab out before you start bringing it down get them level re-tab it in the tank you see there is a peg hole right here in the fusion cannon peg back here just slide it in peg it in and don't forget to fold these feet the back heel spurs into his feet